guess it's for an infant, like a newborn probably will fit. <laughs> The park down the street from our house. We actually have another park that's even closer, but this one has a nice little lake. Fly away home. Oh, I'll get busy. Is that enough? That's a good idea. Oh my god. Look, one walks and they all start to walk. Yo, back up. Oh my god, I'm scared. Ew, look at that thing. Stop, I'm scared. Look at that. Ew, stop, seriously. No, they're just eating. They're not doing nothing to you. They will. Uh -uh. Hi, ducky. No, it's just huge. It's mother. That might be pregnant, I don't know. With eggs, maybe there's eggs in there. Actually, yeah, it does look pregnant. Okay. Is it good? Mm hmm. Looks good. You guys eat a lot of subs and like bagels where you live. Because where we live, we eat lots of bread. Lots of subs and lots of bagels. Especially bagels. Some places we. You go to I wouldn't say. I, everyone. I don't eat a lot of bagels. I really don't eat bagels that much. Well, you don't eat it weird. Okay. But lots of people like from here, you know what I mean? Eat a lot of bagels and stuff. And then you go some places and they don't even... Anyways. Look at that. Cheddar bacon jalapeno flavored. These are really good. I think they're new. I've never noticed them have a band here. I'm sure they do. How would we hear it? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I never noticed the two times we've ever been here. Yeah, I used to drive past this place every day going to boxing. That way? Uh-huh. sure they do. Maybe just during the summer or something. <clears throat> kind of have a little headache now. You have a headache from going that. Either that or those chips. Chips. Or the Coke. Probably the Coke. Coca Cola, that is. The Coca -Cola. Not cocaine. <laughs> now that's just creepy. What? Why is there a tombstone in front of it? Oh, <laughs> shit. Let's 
talk about something. Um, talk about. I don't know. Da -da -da. Babies. Babies. Okay. So, <clears throat> what, is, what are we. First of all, as I've told you before, I'm going to will a boy into you. So, it's going to be a boy no matter what. But. I don't care what it is. I don't care either, but. Yeah, well, he does. I'm. He's lying. I won't care when it comes. We'll say that. Huh? When it comes. What do you mean? When the baby comes. You won't care. Yeah, I won't care. I don't care at all. I just want a baby to yeah, help. She won't let me find out what it is. Yep, because it doesn't matter. See, it does matter to me. I mean, like I said, <clears throat> when it comes, it won't matter. But right now, like, I mean, not that you're pregnant, but when you do become pregnant, I would like to find out what it is. Just so that I'm prepared. <laughs> <laughs> I said for the second one we can. Because for me, for the first one, it's more of an emotion than, like, materialistic things. Like, I don't care to get all pink stuff or all blue stuff. I just want to have the feeling of them saying, It's a girl! It's a boy! That's, that's what I'm excited for. And you don't have many surprises in life, and I think this is one surprise that... Oh, I think you'll be surprised enough. Why? <laughs> when the baby comes out? You don't you don't know what it looks like. Well, I mean, still, you ha you have just because to know you know the sex of the baby doesn't mean that you know everything about well, it. Well, even if you knew it was a girl, you're not gonna know what it looks like. Exactly. So. That, but I just need to prepare myself on what, what I can expect to come. Okay. But I'm gonna slip the uh, what do you call that person? The person who does this. The ultrasound the technician. Ultrasound <laughs> technician. Yeah, that person. I'm gonna slip. Money? I'm gonna slip them about a you know fifty dollar bill and hey, what is it? No, you won't. Don't tell her. Yeah, I will. And I'll come home with like you know soccer balls, baseball bats. Yeah, and he says, oh well, can I just find out? And I won't tell you. Yeah. He would spoil the surprise. No, I would. Yes, he would. I would definitely. Keep right it under when we wraps. go into I would Babies not Are Us, right I would when not, we go. No, yes. I would not do that to you. Right when we. I would just take all the girls' clothes back that we got. Yeah. Right when we go to Carter's or whatever, he'll go right to the boy side. I'm like, oh, there we go. We're having a boy. He's not even looking at the girl side. No. Well, like I said, I would be happy with the girl too, but I would just really like to get the boy out of the way because not that I want to get it out of the way. It's just that I really want a boy. Okay? Well, I really want a boy too. <laughs> I really do want a boy, but I really want a girl too. Yeah, I, I do want also. At least one of each. But I I'd rather have really? a boy than a girl. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is coming out wrong. Yeah, stop talking. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I would like. I think it's natural for a, a man to want oh, well, a boy to follow yeah. in his footsteps. And for me, it's very important for us to have a girl because um, my parents are still together, but I'm not like a <clears throat> big daddy's girl. And I really want that for my daughter. I want, because I know Rob will be a really involved father, so I want our daughter and him to be super close. And that's really important for me. And we will be. Yeah. But I do want a boy too. And my dream is three kids, Rob's is two. <laughs> <laughs> I said if we could afford it, then when we'll that time three. comes, then we'll have three. Yeah. But. For now. Because I think one, at least one of our kids, like if say we had a boy or a girl, I think one of them it would be nice to have, you know, for the boy to have a brother or the girl to have a sister. I don't have any sisters. I have two brothers, and I didn't, I didn't mind it when I was younger, but now that I'm older, I feel I wish I did because now that you know we are trying, it would be amazing to have a sister that was going through the same things as me and having kids and. Our kids would grow up together. Yeah, well, you do have sister-in-law. Mm -hmm. I have two sisters. Yeah, but one I older, think one younger, and my sister-in-law does have two kids, but the youngest one is six. So it is, you know, it is a different gap. You know, our kids will be doing different no, things. No, I'm talking about my sisters. Oh, one of his sisters 
is closer to my age, so I think, you know, we will have kids around the same age, but I think by the time she's having her first kid, hopefully we're on to our second or third child. But I think it would, you know, it's different when you have your own sister that you grew up with your whole life talking about the same things that you talked about having kids together. And we were just talking this morning about, like, what what kind of ideals we're going to instill in our child and um which are very important to us. very important to us we we want when our kid goes to school we want our kid to stand out and not necessarily be follow well, the crowd i guess i don't know how to explain it i guess i think just be the leader like Someone that not stand out in a bad way, but just stand out as a very well-rounded person. A kid that's going to stand up for what's right, no matter what, no matter where um, everyone else is going, whatever else, one else is following and doing. Um, but that some, you know, we want to instill morals and values in our kid that they can stand their own ground and. Um, um, you want a kid that's like adventurous and, isn't, and who isn't afraid to try new things and takes everything in and wants to learn other, you know, new things. And we understand that you can't force force a kid to, to do everything that you want. Um, and that it's not going to turn out exactly how we plan, but... Um, to give them opportunity. We want to give them, that. yeah, we want to give them an opportunity and not shortchange them and and learning anything. Yeah. Oh, we have visitors. <laughs> okay guys, here we are at Babies R Us. This Babies R Us is actually a lot smaller than the one by my parents' house, but we're still gonna check it out. Okay guys, we're just looking at baby stuff. All the stuff that we think is cute. And I have to say, this stuff's pretty cool. <laughs> I thought it was I was kind of dreading coming here, but now... He's getting excited. Yeah. Getting excited. Because there's so many cool things here. Yeah. Except this one, this place, isn't, um... Devin is a uh, sucker for packaging. Yes, I am. So she loves the visual things also. Yeah. I was going to get a, one of that Chico um, car seat, but now I'm getting... I want to get the Graco Snug Ride. But definitely not in this color. Because we're not going to know what we're having. So I went all black. I think black's so nice because it never like goes out of style. This isn't for a baby, right? This is for like a toddler. You guys, what do you think? Is this for an infant? Like a newborn probably? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I know nothing about babies. I'm learning, okay? No, babe, that's for like toddlers. Don't forget, my, my aunt is giving us... I know. A really nice Ricaro. Yeah. But that one's her dollar. Okay, so this is the store I want. Let's get it out. <laughs> Let's get it out. <laughs> it's almost as big as you. This is the store I really want. How much is that? It's not too bad, is it? It's really good because. Yeah, it's really good. And this, I love how the top is all the way over. And then the is it durable though? Like, it seems kind of. Is this supposed to do that? Yeah. Let me check. Let me check this bad boy out. Save our spin. Oh, it's a little bumpy. And, uh, what's up with that? Oh. Okay. Look at this one. Yeah, it's okay. Wow, that thing, see now that thing, see I could probably make a pretty cool one. We're not making our kids stroll with us. I could build this. But it's cool because if I could show you, that's really cool. This thing comes out and you can face it the other way. Oh. Which is extremely cool when your kids... Extremely cool. 
And I want to see the other way. It didn't click in because I didn't really. You broke it. Like that. Which I think is really yeah, cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And what's cool about this one also is because you take this out. But, I don't know. I just don't like what? the way it looks. I know. And it's the boot thing. It's like a weather boot. And you can take this out. And you can put your Snug Ride infant carrier right in here. So you don't even have to waste money and buy one of those. What's Staffing those strollers. Okay. You can just literally... Put so, right put like a dog bed in there and have the kid lay in it? No. You put this, <laughs> you put this Nug Ride, the Greco Nug Ride 35 foot, um, car seat right in here, which is really cool. Oh, the car seat goes in there? Yeah, you put the car seat right gotcha. in there. Gotcha. So, why wouldn't they just like sell this as a car seat too? Because this is a toddler stroller. Okay. Alright, I'm learning. Like when they start to be able to sit up and all that, they would go in here. You know what I mean? Yep. So yeah, this is the one Does that one fold up? Yeah. They all fold up. So this is the one I really want because I like how it faces you. Okay. Pretty neat. And I like that it's all black. And it models, um, you know, the really expensive shoulders, but it's not super expensive either. You need a hand? Yeah. Got it? That yeah, one's unlocked. So I really like that. Yeah, it's pretty cool. But those are, these are pretty badass too. Oh, sorry. These are, is this the more expensive aisle? No, like these are like travel system shorts. Oh, so these actually go. Well, like those are the travel system. This is like a jogger. Okay. Yeah, so these are like. A travel system. Meaning you can put this straight into your car? Well, the fist goes in the car. Yeah, there's like another base that you have for the car? Yeah. Okay. Well, they come with like you buy this base. Oh, okay. Here's the base. Bases. But this is for like... Yeah. Probably going to be done Definitely. Some good jogging strollers, guys. I'm not really sure about that. I've only done the regular Okay, so we couldn't help ourselves. What did you get? We bought a little tiny cat. It's like a little cat. For a, for a dollar nineteen. Dollar ninety-eight. No, it's a dollar nineteen. Sorry. It was. It said to two dollars or something when we got it, but. For a boy or girl. I mean, it looks more boyish, but we're not really into the super pink stuff for girls, anyways. Yeah, we're having a boy, anyway, so. Yeah. <laughs> so, what are you buying now? Okay, I'm buying its coming home outfit. And I know it's crazy, but it is. Um, and since its room is going to be all nature, I wanted to make a shadow box out of the outfit that it comes home in. So I thought this was so super cute. It's really special. And I really like it. Maybe I'm just crazy, but you feel a little uncomfortable being in here when we don't even have one on the way, but I guess that's a little natural, right? Right. But it's not stopping us. Yeah, we're still doing it. Because we're going to have one. No matter what. Alright. That's enough. Let's go. No, come on. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Right. We're here at the Honda dealership on Sunday because it's, nobody likes going to a car dealership when they're just looking and getting bombarded by salesmen. Sorry. And I bought a brand new car in 2009. Sitting over there. Volkswagen Jetta, and it was paid off. July 2014, so July is coming up next year. So I think it's time for Rob to get a new car. Because right now I have an old, uh, it's a 2000 Jeep Wrangler, and it's had nothing but problems. Um, 
much. I guess I kind of expected because it was a Jeep. But I think it's time to start looking for a family car. So we're going to look at something like this. Now what color do you want? I don't know. This is kind of a cool color. Yeah, well it's black, isn't it? Oh, it's like brown. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a brown. Really? Yeah. I like the leather seats. Does and this I one have leather. leather seats? Yeah, it does. And I have leather in my car. This is something that I probably would have never considered before. But... Since we're looking at extending our family, yeah, and we honestly probably wouldn't be going for a brand new one because we couldn't afford it. But probably um, like a certified new one, suit of certified used. Oh, that's what I mean. <laughs> certified <laughs> used. And I really because like these that. are where 28,000. 28, yeah, that's, I really wish that the Honda Pilots weren't. That's so definitely expensive. out of our price range. Yeah, the pilots are way too expensive. But my car payment is three hundred a month, and that's because I put seven thousand down. If I didn't put that much down, it would be five hundred. We don't want to pay over three hundred yeah. or whatever he's getting. Now yeah, we're gonna look for some new ones around here. That's a nice color too. Okay. All right, guys. So we just left the paintball shop it was fun for Rob <laughs> but that's okay because we ended up going to Babies R Us and Children's Place I thought it was called Carter's but the one that I went to go to was Children's Place and we got two little things that little um outfit that I'll show you guys in for the our, next video for our future for our unborn future, baby. yeah our future unborn unfertilized baby <laughs> but um so we're just gonna go home and relax I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already.